What's up guys, this is Spoon Dude back with another video. This time we are taking just a short look at the Marvel Legends Peter Parker. This is part of the new retro wave of Spider-Man figures um, from Hasbro. Now, this Peter Parker is pretty decent, but of course, as many of uh, you probably already know, he has these big ugly glasses, these big weird goggles that you can't see through, so it looks more like goggles than glasses. And um, yeah, I don't like them. If they were clear, I think they would be better. For me, even if the glasses looked um, perfect, um, I'm, you know, my mental image of Peter Parker is usually without glasses. Uh, so yeah. So for this video, I wanted to talk about how I took them off. It's pretty simple, really. The way the glasses are on it originally, they are pegged into the sides of his head and glued in. I just got some boiling hot water. I dipped his head into it and popped the glasses off. Uh, so the purpose of putting him in the boiling hot water is to sort of soften that glue and the plastic and then that makes it easier to try and pry off. I did have to use an X-Acto blade uh, because even with, you know, boiling hot water, it is still kind of tricky to take them out because um, they are sort of small pegs. It's a little bit of an X-Acto blade to sort of pry them out and uh, I was able to do so. Uh, so obviously if you're going to try that for yourself you're going to want to be careful obviously if the glasses were pegged in that means there were two big peg holes where the glasses were um, i decided to fill those holes in with a little bit of epoxy putty and then i painted the uh, brown once it dried uh, i still wanted the glasses to still be able to uh, be put on the head if i so choose um, so what i ended up doing is i just cut the pegs off the glasses and i was hoping that they could still sort of slide onto the figure if i want and as you saw, they do have a tendency to fall off, but if I put it carefully, uh, they can be uh, stuck on there still and look how they did originally. For the most part, I don't. I like the way that looks. And now that's my Peter Parker without, um, without glasses. Here he is with the camera he came in. And I think that looks uh, loads better, especially once you bring in like Mary Jane. And I think that looks a lot better than when he has glasses on. This, here's a Spider-Man figure. Uh, this head fits nicely on there, even if the red doesn't match. But what I want to show is this unmasked head on there. And I like how that looks. So there's that. Here he is with Mary Jane. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a gap. A lot of a gap. Um, depends how you have the head. Even if you have it like up, there is still... It doesn't you know quite sit down all the way um, but it's not too bad and I think from the front it looks pretty good that I don't mind while I have this here uh, I wanted to show you as well how my custom Tobey Maguire head fits on this body it looks kinda weird but it's not too bad I think I did want to compare uh, how this Peter Parker head on this uh, Spider-Man body looks next to the Mafex Spider-Man with his unmasked head. Generally, I prefer the Mafex Spider-Man over the new uh, Retro Wave. However, when it comes to unmasked heads, I am kind of leaning towards this one more. If anything, pretty much just for that skin tone and the way his hair is. This is a little bit more classic Peter Parker to me. And of course, uh, he's not yellow. Or this one is yellow for some reason. Pairing it to the Mary Jane... Uh, comparing both of them to the Mary Jane figure, obviously she looks a lot better with the uh, other Hasbro Marvel Legends figure compared to this yellow guy. So that's just a short look at the uh, Marvel Legends Peter Parker figure and how I took off the glasses. So let me know in the comments below if that was useful to you. If um, you know if you wanted to try it for yourself or wanted to see what he looks like without those you know, ugly goggles. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. And I uh, hope to see you on my next video. Uh, thanks for watching.